What's up, YouTube? Supernova here. I wanted to give you an update of my nitrous bottle insulation. I'm just showing you all the procedures that I'm taking to install the nitrous system. Right now, I'm just installing the bottle. Uh, I'm just installing the bottle right now. I might go ahead and install the feed line uh, so I can go ahead and run it up underneath the car and get it towards the engine bay. So all I gotta do is uh, under the hood work as far as solenoids and fuel line and all that. Right now I'm just trying to get the hard part knocked out of the way. The reason why I say this is a hard part because all the stuff that I had to do you see I had to take the side panel out there and I had to disconnect that one just so I can get this back dash piece you know where your glove box is and your speaker and all that that's the center console um, I had to flip both seats forward I had to remove the panel I had to remove the glove box all these dang bolts for this freaking glove box. I guess they thought you'd be hauling bricks in here or something. Um, uh, this is, flip this up, it's access to the fuel tank and it's got one over there. I'm not sure which side the fuel pump is on or this thing might have two fuel pumps, not sure. But you got access to the fuel tank on both sides. Had to take all this stuff out just so I can get to the holes that I drilled way back there for my nitrous brackets. I ran four bolts, uh, 13 millimeter on the head, um, washers and lock washers on top, nuts and washers on the bottom. And so far, it's not going nowhere, so just wanted to throw this little video in there my nitrous bottle installation that to me this is the hardest part because you know i'm having to sit here and drill holes and take half the car apart just so i can get my nuts up underneath there it's my center console that i got taken out and for my feed line i don't know if you can see it that hole down there you can see the ground I'm gonna run my nitrous feed line through there with some sealant around the line to keep water out and all that so I just need to go to Lowe's or Ace Hardware so I can get something to seal that hole once I get my feed line through there and I'm gonna run it up to this bottle the valve right there all I need to do is cut this so it'll fit in between these uh, brackets so it look somewhat clean. But just to throw a little update in there. Um, let y'all know what's going on with the 350Z probably this weekend. I'm not sure. I might go ahead and install the programmer that I got in. And uh, see the programmer and I'm I already got the catch can installed if y'all hadn't seen that video you might want to go check it out it's called the oil catch can on 350z supernova channel and for y'all people who's just now found out found out about my new channel the reason why it's called supernova is because I had a 1968 Nova that I owned for quite a while and I realized after I got this car here um, for about $800 to $1,000 I can get this thing to do a lot more than what that Nova would have done because to get that Nova to do what this thing's fixing to do it would cost me about ten grand. Uh, the reason why I went on ahead and decided to run a 350Z as far as track and street is because the suspension 
the uh, steering system and the handling on the vehicle. It's uh, a lot better than them old school A bodies and G bodies and everything else. So, but yeah, this is my oil catch can that I installed, uh, 3 8 fuel line. Uh, catch can came from six speed sick speed I should say uh, I just ran to the passenger side uh, PCV valve uh, that one over there was clean wasn't no oil or anything in there just clean as can be so I just went on ahead and ran this uh, I'll probably run it for about a couple of weeks and I'll probably pull the uh, vacuum line off make sure it's still clean this is my vacuum line I got going to the intake and this is the oil line for the PCV valve I'll probably pull this off in a few weeks make sure you know swab it with a q-tip make sure ain't no oil in it make sure we're good to go I just want to make sure that the intake is not getting any oil because nitrous oxide and motor oil does not mix you're asking to go kaboom so i'll run this for a few weeks make sure it's working properly and then i'll probably uh go ahead and proceed with the nitrous oxide system uh i have not decided where i'm gonna put the nitrous fogger uh, I probably drill a hole here and probably run a nut and a washer to hold it in or I might put it up here I'm not 100% sure I'm going to put it either here here um, I thought about drilling a hole somewhere on the throttle body but it's I'm worried I might get too close to the throttle valve itself um, as far as I know, you cannot put it on the other side of the throttle body. You're asking for trouble if you do that. So, I might just go ahead and put it here. Just kind of somewhat hide it. Because over here, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. And plus, I might have to worry about hood clearance. So, just to give you all a little, little video on the nitrous installment. Um, today I'm probably running the bottle. I got the bottle in. Now I'm in the process of throwing everything back together. And uh, I might go ahead and run the feed line so I can be completely done back there. So, till next time, peace out and God bless.